Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you some funny French words that when you really look at them, you're like, what does this mean? Yes, that's right. Are you ready for this? Let's go! That's for you, Dan. On y va. So diving right in. La pomme de terre. La pomme de terre. You would just have to learn that as a potato. Yeah, your average potato is une pomme de terre. But if you're cutting up the words and looking at them in the dictionary, you're thinking, wait, the apple of earth? I guess technically it is an apple in the earth, right? So that's simply it. A weird one, right? So a lot of these words what we call composed words. Huh? You're like, what the heck is a composed word? Or a double-barreled word. It simply means that it's a word that has several parts to it or several no words way. in it. Let's continue on. Le nœud papillon. Le nœud papillon. Le nœud papillon is simply a bow tie. It's something that the French wear for very fancy occasions. No. We also say in slang, le nœud pape. Le nœud pape. Again, look at it, you're like, le nœud papillon, the bow of a butterfly. Hmm. La chauve souris. La chauve souris. La chauve souris. Again, literally, you're looking at this like, hmm, the bald mouse? What? No, it simply means a bat. To say honeysuckle, we say le chèvre feuille. Le chèvre feuille. But again, if you're kind of splitting up those two words that could mean two different things, it's like the goat and then the leaf. Nothing to do with goats, really, but I guess it does have to have something to do with leaf. So honeysuckle, le chèvre feuille. Le cerf-volant, le cerf-volant is simply how you would say a kite. Again, look a little bit more closely to this word. It, Cerf means deer, and volant is flying, so flying deer, hmm, flying deer is cerf volant, right? So, kite. If you're already learning something out of this video, give me a thumbs up and already click the subscribe button. L'œil de bœuf can kind of mean, literally, the eye of the beef, but we use it mostly to mean that window that we can use, or to mean, like, right in the middle of something, uh -huh. or literally, the eye of an ox. So the next one up is ras-le-bol. Huh? I mentioned last week that what that means oh. and how we often use that expression to mean frustration. J'en ai ras-le-bol, meaning I'm fed up. If you want to learn more about that specific word and the other words I did in last week's lesson, this is the video you're going to want to watch next. Okay, ben, à la prochaine. See you next time.